hey guys welcome back and in today's video we're gonna learn how we can insert blocks that we would have downloaded from our website into AutoCAD it's pretty simple stick around till the end okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna search for cadblocks.net that's c-a-d hyphen b-l-o-c-k-s dot net and we'll click on the first link so this is what the website looks like and immediately these animations represent different categories of blocks all right so these are all different categories and um, you have furniture you have bathroom you have vegetation so you have trees plants etc cars vehicles you have people you have your kitchen stuff kitchen cabinets fixtures you have bathroom fixtures etc the full works so once you know what you want and um in each category you'll also see the blocks in as elevations or you may see them as plans like a plan view All right so i clicked on the i clicked on the furniture category and you can see that within furniture they are like 11 or so different um, groups of blocks so i want couches i want couches in the plan view so this is what i clicked on so this is what we have right sofas and plan um, so once you have identified the category that you want and the specific group of blocks you can download it be sure to note where you are downloading it right so the download process does not take very long you double click it you select AutoCAD as the software to open and you'll have a pop-up now this pop-up basically says that it's a read-only file which means that we won't be able to we won't be able to edit the blocks and that's fine so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select the block that i want All right so i want i want this block so i have a very simple floor plan prepared and waiting so i select the block that i want i right click And I select copy with base point. Then I go over to my drawing. So this is my simple floor plan here. I go over to my drawing, I right click again and I select paste as block. And here we have it, right? So this is the pasted block. Uh, you will notice that the block is the couch is huge right it's larger than my floor plan it's 51 feet by 31 feet 3 inches so what we're gonna do is simply reduce the size of the couch we're gonna shrink it a bit so it's one tenth of the size and it still looks a, a bit big it still looks a bit large but at least now it can fit inside the floor plan. Now the average couch I'm assuming might be about six feet long, a couch like this, maybe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line as reference and this line will be six feet long. Right, so we see that the couch is still way big, way longer than the line. So I'm going to scale it down some more just so that it gets down to a realis a realistic size and so that it makes sense in our house okay so i have scaled it down i think this is workable so i'm just gonna move the couch into 
onto the floor plan like this and there we have it i have a couch in my floor plan looks pretty good i did not have to draw it myself or anything like that now let's do it again let's insert another couch so let's select this one again we are still in autocad we haven't left we're just going back and forth between different tabs so i copied it with a base point and now we are back where my drawing is and we pasted as block all right so we selected paste as block again the couch is absolutely huge so we are going to shrink it right so this is one tenth of the original size I think it's still too big we're gonna shrink it some more right so this is a workable and a reasonable size so we have a little living room going on in our house and the truth is that these couches could have probably been shrunken even more right just to be more realistic but this is just for this demonstration just to show you how you can get blocks into your drawing or onto your drawing without too much fanfare so there you have it and you can repeat this process for your kitchen if you want to insert stuff for that your bedroom your washroom etc if you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more content.